Udo from ALK. Um, Miyotaro did his PhD, finished his PhD in 2020 at Chiba University and then moved to KEK as a postdoc uh, where he's working together with Kitano-san. And today he will be telling us about the, well, he's working on QCD in general. And, and today he will be telling us about the missing final state puzzle in monopole fermion scattering. So please, Miyotaro. Thank you very much for introduction. Uh, today I do like to consider the monopole fermion scattering and uh, it's puzzle. Uh, the scattering of monopole and fermion has an interesting feature, uh, such as Rubakov Kena effect. Uh, this effect appears in uh, several gap theories. Uh, for example, SU5 gap. Uh, uh, according to this effect, uh, when proton collides with a uh, gut monopole, uh, the proton decays into the positron and the mesons. And this effect is important in phenomenology because it can be used to set limits on the monopole flux in the universe. Uh, the origin of this effect is the helicity flip property of the monopole and scattering of monopole and fermion. Uh, I'd like to explain what is this property uh, in somewhat uh, classical way. Uh, when there is a monopole and a positive charge, uh, the electromagnetic field has the angular momentum. Uh, the, the, uh, the angular momentum can be calculated using this formula and by, by substituting the background, uh, uh, substituting the magnetic field, uh, comes from monopole, then by using the Gauss law, we obtain uh, this, uh, this formula. Uh, sorry, uh, we omit this negative sign. Uh, the, actually, the correct uh, one is this. And uh, this R hat not is uh, the pointing, uh, unit vector pointing from M, uh, monopole to charge. And that's the electromagnetic field uh, the direction of the, uh, this uh, angular momentum is t this. And the magnitude of this uh, angular momentum is 1 over 2. And, uh, and therefore, if uh, the positively charged fermion has a healthy in this direction, the total angular momentum is 0. Now let's consider the scattering of monopole and fermion when the total angular momentum is 0. Uh, if it, the uh, positive charge is an incoming particle, uh, this has to be left-handed in order to be uh, the total angular momentum zero. Uh, on the other hand, when this right-handed, uh, uh, when this positively charged particle goes away from the monopole, it has to be right-handed. Then uh, before and after the scattering, the helicity has to flip. Uh, in order to in order for the total argument momentum to be zero. Uh, this is a HC flip of a property. Uh, due to this property, uh, there appears a puzzle when we consider two flavors of massless Dirac fermions. Uh, when there is a, a two two or more flavors of massless Dirac fermion, there is a, uh, the the, uh, the, the left-handed fermion and the right-handed fermion has different flavor charges. Uh, then uh, the right-handed particle cannot have the same flavor charge as the left-handed one. Uh, however, according to, uh, to the previous ray, uh, the the, uh, the helicity of a fermion has to flip before and after the scattering, then there appears a puzzle. Uh, uh, the, right, the final state has to be right-handed. On the other hand, this has to be the same, this has to have the same flavor charge as the initial one, but there are no such uh, fermion in the theory. This is the puzzle. Uh, I, 
Okay, let's. Uh, I'd like to uh, consider the uh, the outline. Firstly, I'd like to explain the uh, this puzzle in more detail. And in the second part, I'd like to explain how this puzzle is solved. Uh, but uh, this puzzle is. Uh, I'd like to uh, consider this uh, solve this puzzle by identifying the final state as a soliton of the phase of fermion condensation. And lastly, I'd like to use this soliton to describe the scattering process. Now let's start the first part. Uh, firstly, I'd like to specify the theory I'd like to consider. Uh, we, I'd like to consider an SU2 gauge theory with an uh, adjoint Higgs and four flavors of wire fermions. Uh, th due to this adjoint Higgs field, SU2 gauge symmetry is spontaneously broken down, broken down to U1. Then the uh, the low energy effective theory can be considered as uh, just U1 gauge theory. And, uh, uh, and also due to this adjoint Higgs, uh, there appears a Tofu to Polyakov Morpor as a, a solution of uh, the equation of motion. Uh, now we have four flavors of from ions. Uh, there is uh, the global symmetry SU4. That mixes the, these four wire fermions. Now uh, we denote the A1 as uh, the positively charged fermion, a positively charged left-handed fermion, and uh, B, we uh, let B be a uh, negatively charged left-handed fermion. And uh, these two make an SU2 doublet, doublet, and these four SU2 doublets make an SU4 quadruplet. Uh, this theory, uh, historically, this theory is considered as a, an approximation of SU5 God by identifying these fermions as a, these standard model particles. The low energy effective theory of this theory is the U1 gauge theory. Uh, and the rest of, in the rest of the, this talk, I'd like to mainly consider this theory as uh, the U1 gauge theory. <clears throat> Uh, and let A be the U1 gauge field and F be the field strings cor corresponding to this. And uh, in this approximation, the, the, the fifth Dirac morphole uh, can be uh, approximated by the background Dirac morphole. Uh, this background Dirac morphole is actually infinitely heavy. And uh, we, uh, I'd like to place the, this monopole at the origin. And in this effective theory, the the, the other gauge bosons and the Higgs, adjoint Higgs can be neglected. Uh, <clears throat> okay, and now let's consider the uh, the SAV scattering, uh, SAV, uh, which means that, that uh, we consider the scattering with, with zero angular momentum. Uh, as I said in the introduction, thanks to the contribution from the electromagnetic field, uh, we can define the 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 uh, uh we can obtain the zero angular momentum uh, also uh, due to the central figure barrier term in the Dirac equation uh in the background of monopole uh, the higher partial waves cannot reach the monopole core and we can neglect the contribution from the higher partial wave and we only consider the s wave fermions uh, in our setup uh, the SF fermions only A and A bar when these particles are incoming. Uh, as I said bef before, uh, when this is positively charged and this is incoming and the total angular momentum is zero, uh, this, uh, the incoming fermion has to be left-handed. And when it is negatively charged, uh, it has to be right-handed. And when they, uh, they are uh, the uh, outgoing particles, the the head C has to flip, and this one has to be right-handed, and uh, this one has to be left-handed. <clears throat> now let's consider the puzzle. Uh, this is uh, uh, the list of the fermions in this theory, and uh, the list of the uh, quantum numbers corresponding to these fermions. <clears throat> 
AJ has left handed healthy and positive charge, positive charge, and it belongs to the fundamental representation of C4. Uh, the important point is that the right handed particles has to belong to the anti fundamental representation of C4. Uh, and thus, if, it, if the initial state is A1, the quantum number of final state has to be this. Uh, this is because the HC has to flip and the other uh, quantum numbers has to conserve and, and, there, and we obtain this. But in this list, uh, there are no such particle. This is a puzzle. Uh, in, there are no one particle state corresponding to this. Next, I'd like to consider the multi particle state. However, uh, the mass particle state has to consist of uh, B and B bar. This is because higher partial waves cannot reach the multiple core and uh, we can neglect them. And uh, the SA fermion of uh, outgoing particles are just B or B bar. <clears throat> and thus we consider uh, the mass particle state of B and B bar, but we cannot find that any uh, we find that the any multiple uh, particle state of B and B bar cannot reproduce this. In order to reproduce this quantum number, we need this one over half uh, state. Uh, this this uh, means that uh, th this means that the, the uh, this correspond this corresponds to the state with the Bj number one over two. Then the summing up of the quantum numbers of these four, then we obtain this uh, quantum number. But uh, we don't know what is this state. Now let's consider what is this. Uh, this state, as I said before, this state has a half fermion number. This means that the eigen, this is the eigen state of this operator with the eigen value is one over two. Uh, therefore, uh, this state is also similar to any multi particle state of A and B. This is because these four particles has uh, integer fermion numbers. Uh, this final state is actually obtained by, uh, by using the S wave uh, approximation. This S wave approximation is a uh, 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 is a way to calculate this scattering process. And uh, by using this, uh, it has been calculated, this uh, scattering. And uh, it was found that this kind of state is actually the final state. Uh, this, uh, therefore, the problem, problem is uh, that what is this, uh, um, what the, an appropriate interpretation of this state is. Our claim is that uh, this state is actually a new single particle state that can only exist uh, in the monopole background and only when the fermions are massless. Uh, now I'd like to explain how this state is uh, considered as a, uh, a single particle state. Uh, in order to do this, uh, the, the fermion condensation plays an important role. Uh, it, it is known that it is known that uh, the uh, uh, in the monopole background uh, this operator has a non-zero has a non-zero expression value. Uh, the, the brief explanation why this operator has a, has a non-zero expression value as follows. Uh, when there is no uh, condensation, uh, A and B cannot mix. This is because uh, in the Lagrangian, there are no mixing term of A and B. So in that case, there are no mixing of A and B. However, Helsinki flip uh, says that A and B has to mix at the origin of the, uh, at the core of the monopole. And thus, uh, we need need this kind of expression value, uh, and what and this has to be SU four invariant in order to maintain the SU four symmetry without introducing energy bosons. 
with the EC4 charge. Uh, because this has the expression value, uh, basically, uh, in principle, we can consider the effective theory of the, the operator's phase. Now, uh, let alpha j be the phase of aj and bj, beta j be the phase of bj. The, the, this operator has essentially these four independent, independent phases. Uh, this one is the sum of the all of the phases of the fermion, and uh, this corresponds to uh, some linear combination of the phases. <clears throat> uh, now let's consider what kind of terms in uh, in this this uh, effective theory. Uh, you know that the effective theory has to reproduce the chiral anomaly. Then this uh, the effective Lagrangian, Lagrangian has to contain this kind of term. Uh, the, this corresponds to U1 actual anomaly. And uh, once we uh, introduce the background SC4 gauge field, the similar, similar argument uh, implies that the, we need to have this kind of term. Uh, according to these, Terms we obtain the uh, expression of the current and the flavor current as this. Uh, this uh, this means that this theta a sim uh, is a similar thing as action. Now let, uh, let's consider the storing configuration of this theta a. Uh, this corresponds to action string. Uh, this means that around the string. A string uh, that is the uh, one plus one dimensional object. Uh, around this, uh, this alpha one, the value of alpha one changes from zero to two pi. And, and in the same as the action string, this string on this string there has to be uh, edge modes. Uh, and according to this, Paper. Then uh, this this when this uh, H mole excited, uh, the, this can have the charge as uh, charge and flavor charge. And also, if this H state excited, this object has the spin one over two. Then we can con regard this object as the fermion. Uh, this is because this object has one over two spin and uh, the charges and the flavor charge. Uh, this, this is a similar thing as the scamion in QCD. Uh, the scamion is soliton of phase of chiral condensate in some sense. And also more similar uh, object can be found in NF equal to one QCD. In this theory, uh, it, Eta prime string that is similar thing of this can consider can be considered as a baryon, according to this paper. Uh, this is just the similar thing of this, this object. Uh, in the in the following, I would like to uh, we will see that the this object is actually suitable to the final state of the scattering of monopole and fermion. Uh, this is uh, this. Is the explanation why this object should have this, these kind of charges? Now let's consider this kind of object. Uh, this corresponds uh, where uh, th this is a uh, two plus one dimensional surface, and uh, on this surface, the value of alpha one changes from zero to two pi. And according to the uh, formula of the charge, then we can calculate the charge of this object, then we obtain this object has one charge. Uh, this is similar thing as the Eaton effect. In, in the same way, we can calculate the flavor charge. And then we, this object will have the charge and flavor charge. Uh, because the alpha one and alpha one plus two pi is the same point because alpha one is the phase, then we can have the edge of this 
object. The, we obtain this object, but uh, the, the charge from this effect, the effect reduces. But we need to uh, maintain the charge as this. So there, there has to be edge contribution to the charge and flavor charge. Then we can go away from this goes we uh, this object goes away from this monopole, then we obtain this. And in this set in this, then we obtain this object can have the charge and flavor charges. And then we can consider this object as fermion. Now let's go back to let's go back to the final state uh the puzzle. Uh, this is the object uh, we, we we introduced in the previous slide. Then, when this object goes from in this direction, this object has left-handed HD. Then, this object has left-handed HD and the flavor charge and charges. And this uh, the quantum number of this object is actually the same as AJ. Then, we can consider this object as AJ. On the other hand. When this object goes from right uh, in this direction, goes in this direction, then this object has right handed HD. Uh, this is actually suitable to the final state of morphological fermion scattering. Now, let's uh, I'd like to briefly explain what uh, the solitary picture of scattering. Uh, now, uh, this is a picture of the scattering. Uh, this is the, uh, uh, now let's assume that the initial particle is A1 and this can be uh, described as this object. Then uh, this object goes to the monopole and this string goes through this monopole, can go through this portion. However, this uh, gray shaded region where the value of alpha one changes from zero to the pi has to bounce back. This is because the, uh, the, the actually the boundary condition says, says that the, uh, the value of alpha one cannot change at the monopole core, then this should have a bounce back. Now, uh, then next we, I'd like to, uh, we obtain this object. Uh, this is because the, uh, this object has the same charge as this one. Then there appear another, String, then we obtain this object. Then, which is that this object has right handed HD, then the HD property is uh, reproduced. Uh, this uh, scattering process is uh, described in this paper for an action string. Now, let's summarize my talk. Uh, when the charged particle uh, collides with more power, the HD has to flip. The puzzle is that if there are two or more flavors of massive electric fermion, uh, any, any fermion in the action cannot be the final state of the monopole fermion scattering. Uh, this is because there are no can uh, there are no candidates that is consistent with the flavor charge conservation and the HD flip. Uh, we solve this puzzle by identifying the final state as a new fermion that can be described as a uh, sorry to offer me on conversation. And thank you very much for attention. Thank you very much, Yotan, for a very nice talk. So we have time for questions. Yeah. Can I ask a question? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Well, very interesting uh, topic and, uh, and very interesting talk. Thank you very much. Um, uh, so my question is, well, I have many questions, but one of the questions is that what happens if I take a massive fermions? Well, I, uh, I would naively thought that uh, those strings won't be stable. Uh, is that correct? It, it, yes. Uh, when, when we introduce the mass, mass, uh, mass uh, this object is not uh, stable and this collapses into usual fermion. Uh, and also, can you uh, well, uh, can you can you explain why we expect that the fly flavor is conserved in the process? Uh, mm -hmm. Is that is that anomaly free usually? 
Uh, yes, this S4 is actually the symmetry of this theory. And, and uh, this is an anomaly free, then we need flavor conservation. Yeah, the, so the instant on part of this S2 is irrelevant uh, at all, uh, at large distances. Non, non abelian part of this. Uh, yeah, no, yes. No, uh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Um, other questions? Maybe I, I can ask something very naive. Um, so, so you mentioned there that um, you use basically that S wave approximation. So, so, so what is with the P wave, or if you basically would have higher multiples, that there it cannot happen, or is there? Uh, uh, you you are uh, uh, higher partial waves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, higher partial when the initial particle is a higher partial wave, it cannot reach the monopole, and then this just goes away from the monopole. Ah, okay, okay. So there's just no contribution from higher partial waves. Yeah. But basically, it's very suppressed. It's basically. Okay, yeah, it's exponentially suppressed or something. Like mm -hmm. Over. Okay. Okay, that's good. Any other question? Well, if not, then yeah, let's thank Yotaro again for a very nice talk. Thank you very much. Uh, I thank actually both speakers today, Gauhan 